Utah company is constructing what it hopes to be the tallest flagpole in America. Pauline is checking it out this morning. Good morning, Pauline. Well, talk about a tall order. I have been spending the morning at Broadwind Energy and Heavy Industries. This is their latest project. It's a 400-foot flagpole, and this is actually just part of it. I want to talk to Dave here. He's the plant manager. So, Dave, logistically, how do you go about building, constructing a 400-foot flagpole? Sure. Well, it's very similar to building a wind tower. Um, it's, you know, we've seen the processes where we roll the cans and weld the cans together. Uh -huh. um, we've got, believe it or not, inside these this pole, there's going to be a lot of internal structures to it. So we need to go inside and we need to weld some, some structures, some bosses inside each one of these sections. Uh, we're going to blast it and paint it and we're going to put all the internals in it and it's going to get delivered to the site where it's going to be erected. Uh, so in total, we're looking at about a four week process. We were talking about building it in sections. How long is each section? Each section is going to be about, you know, 70 feet or so. They vary in length. Uh, just because of the engineering behind each section and how they're designed. So, but overall, it's going to be 400 feet tall. And I want to talk about, this is actually Broadwind's first attempt at a flagpole. It's for Acuity Insurance in Sheboygan, and they've actually been known for trying to erect massive flagpoles three times now. Uh, the first one was about, oh, 200 feet, second one, 300. Third one was about 340 feet, but they kept falling over. So I want to talk to CEO Peter Dupree here. Why did you decide to take on the challenge of building the tallest flagpole in the United States? Well, we had a we had a customer that wanted it. It really fits in well with our diversification plan to have a better balance between what we do for wind energy and what we do in industrial components. So this kind of fit in exactly where we wanted to take the company. And you know, it's right down the street. It's a high-profile job. So. Uh, and we're, we, we wanted to show that we could build it to last. Build it to last, that's one key thing. How do you know it's going to last? Well, when we build a wind turbine, it has you know, you know, much larger blades, much more weight. So we're very confident that what we're building will be able to survive uh, holding up a flag. Well, thank you so much. This 400-foot flagpole should be done by about the end of April, and the tough part is going to be assembling it. So it will be definitely a sight to see, guys. Just wow. seeing Pauline, just seeing <laughs> you in there, standing inside the, the, the tower, the flagpole is amazing. Unbelievable.